So there was a New York Times article. Uh, Kirk Streeter wrote it in January. And there was this little anecdote in there. It was a quote from a uh, Portland Trailblazers Facebook fan page. And the quote was, Lillard needs to go <laughs> for his career to have any chance before <laughs> it's too late. For my career to have in any chance? <laughs> so there's, there's a lot in that quote. And it's, but I've seen versions of that quote on Twitter, in articles, mm -hmm. on Instagram, whatever. And I guess it, it begs the question, how do you measure a successful career? Because when I retired, and it still bothers me to a degree, when I retired without a ring, yeah. which in a team sport, that's, again, that's, that's what you play the for. ultimate. That's what yeah. we're playing for. Yeah. I had to grapple with it. Uh, this is something that I, my therapist and I spent a lot of time on it. Right. And it, I, 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 I kind of reframed the idea of success. Like what is a successful NBA career? Yeah. And it's like, did I personally maximize my ability? Yeah. I think I did. Did I have great relationships? Yeah, I yeah. did. Did I get to compete? We all love competition. Did I get to compete right. at the highest level? Yeah. I did. So yeah, I didn't have a ring, but I feel like I had a successful career. What is a successful career to you? What is your definition of that? I would say all the things that you just said, like, um, I maximized my ability, you know, everything that I had, I maximized it, you know, from not being recruited to going to a small school to getting picked and people saying, you know, why would they pick him from Weber state? He hadn't played against no competition to, um, Everything I've accomplished on the court, everything that I've accomplished financially, every, everything I've done off the court as far as endorsements, you know, I feel like I've maximized everything. Um, the friendships, um, the competition, all of those. I feel like I've, I've maximized all of those things. So I feel like, to me, all of those things represent success. And like you said, winning a ring is like the ultimate level of success. And I always think about it, like how you said, like, you wrestle with that. Like, I always think about it, like, man, but like, I really do want to win. And I don't think I would go crazy if I didn't, but like, I really want to win a, a ring. And the thing that I always come back to is I feel like I've checked the box on, you know, everything that makes me feel like if I was done today, I've had a successful career. Because fulfilled. I, You'll I'll, be fulfilled. Yeah. I'll be fulfilled because yeah. I haven't taken any shortcuts. I haven't done anything that I think about. And I'm like, man, like I should have did this or I wish this didn't happen or that. It's like I didn't been I didn't kept it. I didn't took the scenic route every time. Like I have not done any shortcuts, anything weird. I haven't crossed nobody, nothing. So like to me, I'd be fulfilled. And the reason why I, I feel that way is because I think um there's a lot of a lot of people that have won championships in a um a time where it wasn't the way it is now. Like, and the people that have won now have always been a, like it's been like an era of where multiple stars on the same team. And I'm every time I speak on it, people are like, Dame hate super team and run from the grind and all this stuff. And I'm just like, bro, <laughs> these are grown men. They can do what they want to do. I only control me. So like, I'm just saying in this era, it's only become more difficult to win because of the rules that we play by. It's like, you should go play with this guy and you should go play with this guy and that guy. And it's like, all right, well, who do you think is going to dominate winning? Who, who, what do you think is going to happen? You know what I'm saying? Every once in a while, you'll get a, Dallas creeping there and, and win one. Dirk, yeah. And then, like, Giannis will go in there and win. But, like, if you look at that Bucks team, that ain't no, like, they had squad. You know what I mean? Dallas, they even had squad. It just wasn't, like, a high-maintenance type of squad. It was, like, good players, tough vets, wanted to win, had a good enough player. But, like, I feel like everything I've done represents success. And as long as I'm able to just keep pushing that forward and stand on that, then I've had a successful career. And um, obviously if we win it or if I win it, that would be the ultimate like cherry on top. Mm -hmm. 
but I don't think that I don't think that's what means success, you know. Do you do you feel like in retrospect, because you didn't have a lot of noise in high school and in college, that it prepared you for this better than some of these guys who have it when they're fifteen? No, I think that's definitely something that is in my favor, you know, that doesn't get talked about. I didn't have to deal with, you know, people trying to like these these kids got managers and handlers and all these things. Um, you know, they the hype, you know, people handing them stuff and they're getting free shoes and cars and people taking care of them on the because they want something on the back end and stuff like that. I didn't deal with that. So I didn't get influenced in no way, you know, how some how some kids have and, and might get influenced. Um, so I think that is in my favor and it helped that I I went to school, you know, when I got to school, I was coming off the bench, you know what I mean? Like we doing conditioning tests and they just like was on my ass at Weber. Like I go to class, coach waiting outside my class, making sure I'm not late, like couldn't miss a single class. It was like stuff like that made me as disciplined as I am now, you know? So I definitely think that experience plays in my favor, but also like when I think about like my parents, like my dad would have never went for no agent with me and a handler and all of this stuff that's happening now, like AAU coaches being like out front for these kids. Like my dad was telling me when I entered the draft, like if an agent called you, they need to talk, they need to call me. Like if they, if somebody reached out to you, like during my season, my last year in school, it was like, if an agent reach out to you, give them my number. They shouldn't be calling you. Like my dad, like by the book, he don't play none of the weird shit. Like none of the, I don't care how this, how stuff goes, like we not participating. So like, I think it, it was in my favor, but I don't think it would have ever been an option even if I was like a top player or something. Cause my, my parents just wasn't going for shit. Like <laughs> to this day, they not going like, 